Hello, lovely speech therapy professionals. Today I want to discuss the flow of speech therapy, specifically from the time you meet your patient, assess them, and screen other areas. In this video, we're going to continue the process by talking about how to choose an assessment, greet your patient, and assess and screen them. Let's get started. In a previous video, I mentioned questions to ask yourself to help you get into the right headspace of knowing which assessment to choose. Here are the questions again. In what area would my patient require speech therapy? Is it a swallowing thing or a communication thing? What's the number one thing affecting safety or quality of life? Your chart review will help you make a professional guesstimate on the answer to these questions. In general, if your patient has any swallowing red flags like diagnoses related to the head, neck, or lungs, you'll likely give a swallowing assessment first since swallowing can really affect safety. So it's usually the number one thing affecting safety and quality of life. If they don't have any swallowing red flags at all, you'll probably start with a language and cognition assessment. But many of our patients have all the diagnoses. So what are you supposed to do? There's only so much time in a day. No worries, I'm telling you right now that you don't have to do it all in one go. If you think that there's more than one possible speech therapy diagnosis, Focus on the one for today that's most medically concerning or that may cause the most health issues if left unattended. This is usually dysphagia or cognition related to safety. So if you see swallowing red flags and communication red flags, focus on the assessment that's related to the area that's most medically concerning. Now place a copy of whatever assessment you choose in your clipboard. And just as an aside, I do keep other copies of other assessments in the clipboard with me just in case. Sometimes a patient doesn't present like you expected and that's okay, it happens. So save time and bring a backup assessment and just leave them in your clipboard if needed. Now it's the exciting or terrifying part, depending on how your day is going, meeting your patient. You know a little bit about them through the chart review and now it's time to connect with this human being that you're here to help. As you walk in, scan their setting. How does a patient look? Are they tired? Are they looking fresh? What's going on? Who else is there? What's on their bedside table? Things like that. If you're doing outpatient, you could still do this a bit by observing how the patient or whatever caregivers are in there with you, um, how they're looking. Then introduce yourself and give a short spiel about who you are and why you're there. Hi, my name is Chung. I'm with speech therapy. I'm here to complete a swallowing assessment with you today. This is also a time to build rapport. Rapport is that connection, trust, even that warmth you can build with patients. For now, be fully present with this patient. Ask to take a seat, set aside your clipboard for now, and even for 30 seconds, connect with the human being in front of you. Ask how they're feeling and listen. And a few moments of silence is okay. Awkward silence is totally fine. Settle in and then reintroduce why you're there. I read that you had a stroke and it may be affecting your swallowing. I'm here to assess your swallowing and see how your muscles are working. Can we get started? Some patients are resistant and that's normal. There's a number of reasons why they would be, including they feel tired, sick, or they just want some peace and quiet. You can let them know that the team is waiting for your report and quickly describe what to expect from the assessment. I'll ask you to swallow and feel your muscles. It'll take at most 15 minutes or however long it usually takes you. Grab your clipboard in the assessment and record their responses without cues at first. You wanna see their current level that they're at. So if they take a sip and they start coughing, that's a current level. But quickly introduce any strategies or a different liquid consistency and see how they respond. Record all their responses, including what cues and adjustments you gave. The more info you get right now, the bigger picture you have of them and the easier it is to make appropriate goals. With that being said, any assessment is just a snapshot of your patient's abilities in any given moment. People change from day to day, even hour to hour, especially for our severely affected patients. So if you're feeling pressure to have all the answers, please let yourself off the hook because it's not necessary. You'll naturally learn more about your patient as time goes on. For assessment day, just get your baseline on how your patient presents on that single day, and this information will help get the ball rolling in treatment. Now is also a great chance to screen other areas, but only if you have this headspace for it. 
So let's say you completed the oral mechanism examination and some liquid and food trials. And you notice a few times your patient didn't follow directions quite right or they look confused. You start to suspect that they may have difficulty understanding. So you could bust out that just in case language and cognition assessment and pick five or 10 comprehension questions to ask. On your assessment report, you could write language comprehension was screened, patient answered moderate questions at 50% accuracy, suspect language comprehension deficit, recommend full language assessment next session. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this will add value to your practice. In the next video, we'll discuss how to score and generate a plan on the spot. I'm Chung Brewer. I'll see you next time.